Hello to all you guys out there in YouTube land. Yes, it's me, DR, in another quick vlog, quick short video, just because I've seen something else I want to talk about today. Nothing about YouTube. This is actually about the UK and a change to the first major shakeup in the driving test in 20 years. Sees a few minor, well, say minor changes, a few actual changes, four changes in particular. So, the most, I think the one that's created the most controversy is the fact that part of the driving test will be a sat nav test. So drivers will be instructed to turn the sat nav on and follow instructions, uh, follow the guidance of the sat nav as part of their driving test. There's also going to be um, questions asked about how you turn on the back heaters while the uh, while the, the the delegate is driving. There's also a change to the independent driving driving section. So that's gone from 10 minutes of the 40 minute test all the way to 20 minutes of the 40 minute test. So there's gonna be more independent driving, but this looks like it's gonna be combined with the sat nav driving. Um, there's gonna be less emphasis on three point turns, things like that. Um, there's gonna be uh, more emphasis on, or less emphasis on three point turns, sorry, uh, and driving skill and more emphasis on driving in and out of car parking spots but the detail behind that wasn't uh wasn't wasn't in any article i could find so ooh, that was a door close it's a bit windy here, you see so all in all what do i think i think it's good that the the they took two years with studies to find out what people actually wanted but at the same point when i drive on the road what i see is a lack of driver skill so people pass their test and they just kind of forget their learnings and just go out there and, and do what they want to do. Um, there's a lack of indication. So people don't indicate to let you know where they're going. And so an emphasis on driver skills, the basics, the fundamentals, would actually be quite useful. I think this is a modernization in terms of, you know, now use a sat-nav, everyone uses a sat-nav, let's see how you drive using a sat-nav. But actually, that's a guide. It's a bit like saying, let's do a bike test with stabilizers. You do a bike test without stabilizers because you want to test someone's skill in coordinating a motorbike. And the same with a driving test. In the UK, it should be about the skills of driving, not how you use all the peripherals that you might have. Because there's some people who still drive without a sat-nav. I know they're all over the shop. I know that you know the modern generation tends to use sat-navs for everything. But actually, skills of navigating helps when sat-nav goes wrong. And you hear stories about this. And I use a sat-nav on a regular basis. But one of the things I use it for is when I'm close to a destination. So I'll switch the sat-nav on, but I understand how to navigate from point A to point B as close as I can using motorways and things like that. So for me, I think this is a bit of a step back because it's getting people away from the testing the skills of driving itself and how you navigate within a car and how you coordinate the car. So now skills of using a sat nav. It's a, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Is this a good change? Is it a bad change? What happens in the US as well and other countries? What does their driving test look like? Really intrigued to know. Anyway, this is DR saying peace out. Have a safe journey over heading. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye.